Don't miss out on Ami Guru May this year. It's going to be an amazing one. And if you don't know what Ami Guru May is, that's okay. In a nutshell, it is a free Instagram challenge for Ami Guru May enthusiasts like myself, and I would imagine you are too. And today we're going to talk all about the details about Ami Guru May and this adorable little hippo that has a lot to do with Ami Guru May. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to find links for everything that I talk about in the description box below because there's going to be a lot of links and I don't want you to have to be rummaging around the internet looking for all of these things. They're going to all be in that little description box below. You may be wondering if you have never participated in Ami Guru May before, what is it exactly? Give me all the details and that's what I'm going to do. Basically, it is an Instagram challenge that was created by Ilaria from Airily Gray. She is an amazing Ami Guru Rumi designer and she just wanted to put out something for the community to get us all excited about Ami Gurumi and this is the third year in a row and it is so much fun and it all centers around a calendar. So Ilaria created this calendar and it's free. You can get it on her Instagram account or on her website. I will leave a link for both of those and it gives you prompts for every single day of the month of May which is really fun so that way you don't have to try to guess what you're going to be posting about. So for example, day seven says hooks. So you're going to post something about your Ami Gurumi hooks. You might show your collection of Ami Gurumi hooks, or maybe you will show your favorite one that you use for Ami Gurumi, or maybe you'll actually show yourself using it. Maybe you'll make a video of you actually using your favorite crochet hook for Ami Gurumi. And then on day 20 is all about bees. And what's great about it is that you can plan ahead. So if you know the day 20 is about bees and you've never crocheted a bumblebee before and you want to participate, then you could plan ahead and have that done by the 20th. Now, this brings me to a very, very important point is that she has a planner. This is a free resource. You will find it on her website. You can download it and you can use it for yourself. Like I said, it's totally free. And what's great about it is that if you're like me and you don't plan ahead, you plan to fail. What's the saying? If you plan to fail, you fail. No, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that's exactly what I've done every year is I think, oh, this will be really fun. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And by day, you know, 10, I have completely crashed and burned and I'm not participating anymore. And it's because I failed to plan. So this year I want to get my act together and plan a little better. And I want to use her amazing planner. And that way I can just know when things need to be done by. And the great thing is, is that you can go ahead and get those posts ready and save them as a draft in your Instagram account. I think that's a really great way you can get your captions done, add your hashtags, do all of those things in advance. So so that way, on that day, all you have to do is push the share button, which I think is wonderful. I hate trying to come up with captions and do all of those hashtags the day that I am going to post. So I think that's a really, really good resource. So you may be wondering, do I have to post every single day to participate? And the answer is no. post as often or as little as you want or that you can because we're all busy. We all have things that come up and if you can post occasionally, that's great. But if you're one of those people that can post every single day, you are a total rock star and I really need to learn from you. So please reach out to me and share all your secrets because <laughs> I am really on the struggle bus with Instagram right now. I find it very difficult coming up with things to share, but it's a wonderful way to connect with other makers which leads me to you need to be following the hashtags AmiGuruMay and hashtag AmiGuruMay2021. That way you can connect with all of these other AmiGuruMay makers from all over the world. The really cool thing is that Ilaria has all of these calendars in I think it was seven or 11 different languages. Let me check really quick for you. Okay, I'm back. 
it's nine different languages, which I think is so wonderful that way. Everybody from around the world can participate. Not that there's only nine languages in the world, but that's going to be a lot of people in places all over the world, the globe. And that's what I love about Amigurumi is that it joins us all together in a common interest. Also, don't forget to use those hashtags on your own posts. That way people can discover you. That's a really wonderful way for other people in our Amigurumi obsessed world to be able to find your content. You can make friends, you can grow your Instagram account if that's something that you're interested in doing. And it's just a really fun way to connect with other people because I don't know about you, but I don't know a lot of people in my own life around here in my little area in North Carolina that are obsessed with Amigurumi like I am. I really hope to see you. I'm going to be trying to post almost, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to post weekly at least. I probably won't be able to post every single day, but I'm going to give it the old college try and just make my best effort. So if you aren't familiar with the work of Aralee Gray, I want to introduce you to this amazing Amigurumi designer. Yes, she has created Amigurume, but that's just a small portion of what she does. She is actually an Amigurumi designer based in Italy. I'm so jealous. I'm watching the Stanley Tucci documentary series right now all about Italy and oh my goodness, I just, that's where I want to go. I want to go to Italy and I want to eat all the delicious food there. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Ilaria is a very, very talented Amigurumi designer and she designed this little flower power hippo, which I'm going to tell you about in just a minute. But she also has lots and lots and lots of free patterns on her website. It is so wonderful. I love when designers offer so very much for free for people. It is just such a beautiful gift. I want you to go check out her beautiful designs. One of the things that is really amazing is that her patterns are let's just say they are some of the best patterns I have ever seen. They're so clear, they're nice and bright, and all of her notes and her tips and her tricks and her photos are amazing. I really, really, really love these patterns and think they are so wonderfully written, and I think you will agree with me, but she also has a pattern shop, and this is such a wonderful way to support a designer is to buy their patterns occasionally. If they've given you a lot of free content, it just helps them out because this is what they're doing for a living. So I want to share a few of her paid patterns as well, but check out her free patterns, but her paid patterns are so amazing too. Ilaria has dozens of patterns for sale in her pattern shop and they are all very unique. And that's one of the things that I really like about her style is that these are really, really unique designs and I really like them and they're a little bit quirky sometimes. And I'm going to share a few of my very, very favorite ones from her pattern shop. And the first one, is the Amigurumi Moon Rabbit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love that they are in different positions and you've got one laying down and you have one sitting up and you have the little moon. I think that is really, really precious. I also love her chameleon. That one is actually really amazing. It is almost like a sculpture with yarn. Oh my goodness, totally amazing. I also love her little toucan. It's so cute. And one of my favorites is Elvie, the Amigurumi Elephant. Oh my gosh. Goodness is so sweet with the little birthday hat on. Just precious. I just love all of these. Now, also, she has a bee. Remember, we talked about the World Bee Day on the 20th and how you might want to look at a bee pattern. Well, she has an adorable one, and I love that he is wearing little goggles because, you know, he's flying around like a pilot, which is so, so cute. I just love all of her designs, and I think that these would be so much fun for you to choose one of them to make for Amigurume. So this is the little flower power hippo. I think she is so adorable. This is actually a free pattern from Ilaria Gray. I will leave a link just for this pattern in the description box below so that you can find it too. And this was a really fun and literally one of the quickest Amigurumi toys I have ever made in my life. It only took me two evenings and I didn't even work on it for hours and hours and hours. You know, a couple hours, two evenings, I had this completely done. And one of the reasons is because 
because you use the chenille yarn, which is really fun to work with. And I'm gonna talk all about that, but I wanna talk a little bit about how cute this little hippo is. So you can find three different ways to make your hippo. So I chose the one with the little striped t-shirt, but there's one with little overalls on that is so cute, and then one with a little tutu. They're all three absolutely adorable, and she actually creates them with different colored yarn for their bodies. And I just wanted to go with the little gray, and I chose to do this really pretty little pink and mint and yellow striped t-shirt for her to wear. One thing I really think is great about Ilaria is that as a designer, when you can make simple toys but make them look really, really beautiful and cute and adorable, that is a great skill. That is an amazing skill to make something that is really simple but really adorable and full of personality. And I think that's exactly what my little, I've been calling her Helga, although my son doesn't really like me calling her that. He would like me to name her something else, but I'm calling her Helga. I don't know why. I feel like that just really fits her and she's just nice and squishy and soft and this yarn is really fun to work with. I didn't use the exact yarn that was suggested in the pattern because I could not get my hands on it anywhere and I went on Love Crafts and found the Sir let me say if I'm, I, I'm gonna try to say this one right. Seardar Happy Chenille. This looks like a perfect substitute. I looked at the yardage and the weight and everything and everything looks perfect for it. I loved it, but I was too impatient and I was going to have to order it. So I ran to my local Hobby Lobby and looked for a decent substitute and I found something that was okay. I like this yarn, it's okay. I wish that I had had time to do the Seardar Happy Chenille because it looks like it would be absolutely perfect. And this is a good substitute, so if you don't want to order the yarn or you're looking for a chenille substitute, the one that I found at Hobby Lobby was pretty good. So what I ended up using was the Baby Bee Adorable from Hobby Lobby and it is a nice chenille yarn. I got it on sale for 30% off and I think that that is the way to go if you're buying yarn at Hobby Lobby to make sure that you buy it only when it's on sale because I kind of think it's a little expensive for what you're getting. I actually feel like you get a lot better deals on Love Crafts but that means you have to wait for it to ship to you. But one of the things that I liked about this yarn is that it came in some really pretty colors and it is really soft and really, really squishy. I ended up using a five millimeter hook with this one because it is a pretty thick yarn. But also one of the things that I didn't like about this yarn is that it sheds. Now, I don't know if most chenille yarns shed like this, but this one really shed when I was working with it. Now, I haven't seen my little hippo shed at all, so that's a really good thing. So I got it in the colors flannel, bumble, Bee Wings, which is the yellow, Pinkaboo, which is the pink, Angel, which is white, and Mint Charm, which is the minty green color. So I think these are really pretty soft colors. I love that this is like an oversized, chunky little hippo, and I think that's perfect for her. And this cute little t-shirt just goes on and off, and it works up super quick because it's so chunky, and I used a five millimeter hook, and it was lickety split, and that was a really fun project to work on. I would love to know if you're going to participate in Amiguru May this year and look for me on Instagram. I'm at Le Petite Saint Crochet. You can find me there. If you put in your hashtag, maybe I'll be able to find you too. That would be really fun. But as always, thank you for sharing a little bit of time with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed the little Helga Hippo and all of the resources and all the information about Amigurume. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. Please comment if you're going to be participating and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you'll know when I post a new video. And if you know somebody who might be interested, please share it with someone who loves Amigurumi like we do. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I think you guys are so amazing and I love hearing where you're from and it is so wonderful to know that there are so many of you all over the world and I look forward to finding you on that hashtag and I'll see you next week. Happy stitching and stay safe out there.